Hello and welcome to Chasing Green Arrows. I have with me my co-host Abra Aziz. How are you doing? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing well. We're in the business end now of the European tournaments, both the Champions League and Europa League. Exciting times. Uh, quarterfinals coming up for the Champions League and semis for the Europa. So I thought yep. we'll just do the predictions today for the games. Yep. So are you excited? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, like uh, like you said, right? Champions League is there's there's just a little different uh, different kind of vibe about the Champions League. It's always exciting to watch Champions League games. So yeah, look forward. Yeah, so if you look at the Champions League fixtures, there's uh, Atlanta versus PSG. We have uh, Leipzig versus Atletico, uh, Bayern versus Barcelona, and Man City versus Lyon. So these are the fixtures. So uh, I thought we'll start off with the PSG game against Atlanta. Atlanta don't have their main striker. Uh, we were discussing about that uh, previously. But uh, what do you? What are your thoughts in this game? And PSG don't have Mbappe either. So what are your thoughts for this game? And what prediction are you looking at? Um, I think PSG will take this one. Uh, I think even though they don't have Mbappe, I think they have enough firepower to to kind of uh, uh, like make take a victory uh, in into the game tomorrow. I think it's it's going to be um, a pretty simple game, three one to PSG. I don't think Atlanta has the has any of the firepower to kind of just overthrow uh, PSG. They will outscore them, so I think that it will be a high scoring game. But I think it will be three one for, for PSG. Yeah, and Neymar is time to step up. He needs to shine now. Like uh, he's been in the shadow of first Messi and now Mbappe. He needs to step up now. I know the injuries have played a part in his career, but like now it's the time for him to step up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, uh, this is a perfect time for him. No Mbappe. I mean, I don't think I don't think he's in the shadows per se, but he has been a little bit. Uh, dark. I mean, Mbappe has really taken the limelight in at, at PSG as well, but. Uh, Clear, clear indication. Good time for him to really step it up, take them to the next, next uh, uh, to the semifinals, and and then uh, uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, and uh, so I'll probably go two 0 uh, PSG. I think they'll win as well. Uh, Atlanta, Atlanta played really well this season, but I think with their player missing, it'll be a bit difficult. But uh, uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Yep. Uh, and these games are all in Lisbon, I think. So it's neutral venue, one leg. So it'll be it'll be exciting. Like it, there might be a you never know. There might be an upset here and there. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Uh, and then the game on Thursday is the Leipzig versus Atlético Madrid. Yeah, that again, I think um, it's going to be a very KG one nil victory to to Atlético. I think they're just going to you know, <coughs> that's 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 just the way Atlético plays. They they're not really going to give uh, too much to uh, Leipzig to kind of even. Uh, Make the most of it. I don't think Leipzig will have too many chances. If they can convert uh, from from one or two that they might get, that's great. But I don't think they. I don't think that uh, they have. They stand really a, a very big chance, considering uh, Atletico is very strong defensively, and uh, and then they will catch them on the counter and just it'll be a one-nil victory I think to Atletico. And no Timo Werner for Leipzig, so that's a big loss. Oh yeah, no Werner as well. Yep. Yeah, I think um, I would go with the two-one Atletico. Uh, just to be a bit different uh, from you. But yeah, I think it's a one goal kind of game, a one goal difference kind of game. Uh, but uh, I'm actually backing Atletico to go all the way. This, Real Madrid is out of the way now. <laughs> so they have like a, a clear map. That's like, and Ronaldo's out of the way as well, uh, uh, right? They're two nemesis. Like, yeah. I mean, for Atletico, it's been Madrid and Ronaldo. Like, uh, right. So, I mean, uh, I think uh, they have a clear path now. There's still some tough games, but with their defense, I think they do have a shout, uh, especially in these one-leg games. Uh, I think they can take it. Uh, I they have a chance to go all the way. So, yeah, think, yeah. They're, 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 and they're, they have two clear. They have two good strikers uh, who can play on the counter. So I think that'll be very yeah. important as well. Uh, so we're done with those two games, and then the next two games: Barcelona by Munich. I think this is the game of the. Uh, of the quarter final, yeah, of the of the round, yeah. yeah Bayern versus uh, Barca. Bayern were very impressive against Chelsea. This, the Lewandowski looks gold right now. Looks amazing. Uh, Barcelona again defense like they conceded against Napoli in both legs. Um, the defense looks vulnerable. Uh, it's all about Messi, isn't it? Uh, like if they want to win. Absolutely, I think uh, the, the just the thing, the one thing that's favoring Barcelona is there's no second leg. They've had an issue with their second leg fixtures, but they're not no second leg here. If Messi can put up a show that he put up against uh, Napoli, I think uh, I think Barcelona will come out victor- victorious. But uh, it's going to be a very very, in my opinion, a goal scoring game because I think that um, uh, there will be a, a lot of goals. So I yeah. have a very high scoring three two victory for for Barcelona. For Barca, but the question is, if Messi has a big game, will they stop? Will do they have the resources to stop Lewandowski? That's what I'm saying. That's why I think he'll still score a goal or two. 
him, Gnabry is there, he's there. But you're saying Bayern's defense will leak more goals than Barca's. That's what, I'm, I'm just saying that Messi has to really put up this kind of an amazing show. So you're show. hoping on like a, like a this world a class. Messi show, that's yeah, it. Messi that's show. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like if he, what he did against Napoli, I mean, you, you saw that goal again. He's just slipping in, he's still scoring goals. If he does something like that, you never know. You know? It's, yeah. um, it, it's just, if, if Messi doesn't show up though, they'll, they'll get annihilated, I think. But I think, I have a feeling that Messi really wants it. So I feel like he might just take the team. Team through and no second leg, they'll be okay. Yeah, I'm not counting. Uh, I'm not counting Barcelona out. I still feel like Messi can change the flow of the game, but I'm going with the Bayern win. I, they're very convincing uh, against Chelsea, and I think they can expose that uh, that back four of Barcelona, the the defense. So I, I'm going with Lewandowski hat trick, man. Three one Bayern Munich. No, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, like you never know. Messi really can stop them, but like I don't know. I just feel like the chances are higher for Bayern. Yeah. Uh, and going, I'm just being a messy fanboy right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, this might be like one of the last few years we can see him at at like you know that peak. So hopefully he does something. Uh, and the last game this should have been City versus Juventus, where it's City versus Leon. I mean, we expected it to be Juventus. Um, yeah. Leon, wonderful performance, man. They didn't play for five months and they come and they beat Juventus away from home. Like, man, that takes guts. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think, uh, I mean, kudos to Lyon. They they had a very, very good game. They they were able to beat Juventus with the likes of Ronaldo and uh, them in the in the ranks for Juventus. They were still able to hold them off. Uh, this is a one-leg tie. It's a completely different tie. I just feel that they don't have what it takes to be able to overpower City because even if they score a goal or two, I think City will over score more than them. And I'm going for a 3-1 City win on this one. No Memphis Depay show? No, I don't think so. I think uh, if, uh, he might score a goal. He might even score two. You never know. But I feel like City will, will really be able to, like, you know, I, I don't see Leon as a very, very strong counter-attacking team. That's the, that's the kind of football that you need to play to, to beat City. Uh, they, they, can try to, they can try to inculcate that for this specific game. But I just feel like um, City has enough to, to be able to kind of uh, uh, overturn and win this 3-1, I think. Yeah, I think City by far the the better team on paper and everything. But I'm going with a bit of history. Two quarterfinal losses in the last two years. I think um, Leon's gonna surprise the world and get into the semi. Uh, it's a big, big outside shout, but I just wanna go with that. Like, uh, even though City are firm favorites for me, but yeah, I'll go with uh, two two one Leon. Wow, making this very or, very controversial. <laughs> I mean, two one Leon. I was thinking maybe we can go to penalties as well. Or extra time, but uh, Actually, uh, no, 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 one one and then two penalties. Yeah, one one two penalties and then Leon win on penalties. Um, let's just go. Yeah, um, yeah, let's go one one extra time. City attacking. Uh, the uh, De Bruyne hits the post and then on the counter, Memphis two one and it's game <laughs> over. This is, this is like a FIFA. This is kind like of. a dream. Yeah, it's like a, a dream, <laughs> but like uh, uh, just giving them an outside chance. You know, you never know. Like you probably got this prediction. You'll probably get this correct, but I'm still going with that outside chance. Just given City's history, I'm still I'm going to go against them again in the semis. I'm not going to predict City you're, again. <laughs> you're, you're clearly showing that you're a real <laughs> <at> time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, I think we we summed up the Champions League games. Uh, uh, it's going to be really exciting. Uh, I, now let's just look at the Europa League semis. Is now this is uh, uh, it's gone to the crunch time as well, and it looks very interesting. Uh, some good teams. Uh, today, Wolves lost against Sevilla. Where Raul Jimenez missed a penalty. Um, mm-hmm. So, it'll be a Sevilla versus Man United semi-final and an Inter versus Shakhtar Donetsk semi-final. A potential United Inter, but I don't want to look too far ahead. Uh, United have lost uh, two semis this year already uh, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So, I don't want to look too far ahead. I think this is... I don't... For the, for the United versus Sevilla, I want you to give me your, your prediction first. So, United Sevilla, if I was you, I would say Sevilla would win. Uh, because uh, United, uh, uh, like, even against uh, Copenhagen, it wasn't a convincing performance. Like, yeah, the goalkeeper saved and everything. They could have scored more goals. But, like, you need to be more clinical. Uh, so, and Sevilla are a good team, I think. Uh, but even though I feel United are better on paper, but I think Sevilla will give some trouble, especially if they sit back. Uh, I think it'll be a tight game. It could go either way. Uh, I'm just with the bias. I'm going United 2-1. I think we have the attack. Um, I think Martial needs, uh, will score. Uh, I think uh, Bruno, Pogba, the likes of Rashford also need to stop his game. So, I think they have what it takes. Uh, it could go either way. I think it's going to be a close contest. So, I'll go 2-1. I wish it's 2-0, but yeah, 2-1 United. 
That's Sevilla. fair, but I, I, I'm going to go the other way around. I'm going to have the same scoreline, but I'm going to say Sevilla to win this 2-1. That's what I told you. If I was you, I would do that. I'll tell you why too, right? I'll tell you why. It's, and you, you mentioned this point. If they really sit back and don't allow United to uh, kind of, you know, get those chances and stuff like that. And, and in our previous pods as well, you and Big D, we've, we've talked about this, about how when, when they don't get that kind of counter-attacking game going, United look like lackluster, right? So if Sevilla can sit back and hit them on the counter and kind of beat them at their own game, I think that's yeah. what Sevilla should do. And if they do that, I think they will win 2-1. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I just feel that United will, uh, they were finding their feet a bit. Uh, I think now they'll be a bit more prepared for this game. Uh, so I think it'll be cool, uh, closely contested, like I said. But uh, I just feel we have that extra firepower. But I won't be surprised if they lose as well. Like your prediction, if it comes, I won't be surprised. I'll just be heartbroken. That's it. But uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, you summed it up pretty well. And the inter Shakhtar game, Shakhtar looked good today. Yeah, they did look good today, but I still think that uh, uh, Inter will win that. I just so, think that Inter will win that. Uh, would you laugh more if United get knocked out against Sevilla or if, if uh, uh, Lukaku scores the winner in the final? <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Inter United game would be good for the league. Like it'll be good for the for sure. for lot sure. of a lot of eyes on that game. One hundred percent. I think that would be a more exciting game to watch versus, let's say. Uh, I mean, with, with due respect, Shakhtar versus Sevilla won't get as much uh, viewership yeah. which an Inter and United game would get, you know. So, yeah. for that purpose, I think. But, but I still think Sevilla will win. And I think Inter will win this one. I think 2-1 Inter. And then I think Inter will go on to win the, win the tournament as well. Yeah, just to end this, uh, uh, how do you rate uh, Sevilla and uh, Because they were Europa League uh, specialists, right? Like, by, like a few years back. Under uh, under under a certain Unai. yeah Unai yeah they were specialists like you know it was almost impossible to beat them so how do you rate the team now do you think they're beatable and do you think uh, um, in general like uh, uh, Inter United do you think they can like uh, will they have a tough time or they can beat no, them I think, I think the the kind of football that Unai would would play uh, for Sevilla it worked for them at the time but yeah. I think since then they've the, the new managers kind of come in and changed a few things and and they are they are a beatable team. But they, they also look a little bit better going forward. And that's why I think that they will go into the finals over United. But as long as they can, as long as they can hold their defense and not give United too many chances and like, you know, really frustrate them, which is what we've seen. Yeah, with Copenhagen did the same thing. Uh, yeah. when, you, when you kind of frustrate them, they get they, this, this United feels a little bit out of sorts mm-hmm. and they, they lack, they lack uh, some new ideas, which Bruno always gives them in the end. I and mean, he's always, he's, he's done in the past. He might do it again. You never know. But it's just like, I feel like Shaftar, uh, sorry, you know, uh, Sevilla has enough to kind of frustrate them. And I think what they missed was what they were not able to finish when they got a couple of chances. I think uh, Sevilla will be able to finish those chances. And that's my that's my opinion about it. And that's why I think Sevilla will win this one. Yeah. They're so you said to... Slightly different team. Yeah, they're a slightly different team from what they were when they won three. I think three in the past, three or four, three out of four, I think they won the Europas three or four years back. So, yeah. But I think they're a little bit different from then. And that's yeah. why Inter will go to win, beat them in the finals. Yeah. How much did you say for the Inter game? 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one Inter. I'll go 2-1 uh, Inter as well. I think it'll be close. Uh, and uh, United, uh, I said 2-1 as well for Manchester United. And yeah. you're going Sevilla 2-1. Yeah. I think, yeah, that sums it up. Uh, just to end, uh, to, to, uh, just to end um, uh, let me just ask you uh, the fixture that you're most looking forward to and uh, a surprise upset. If you see in any of the Europa League and Champions League, both the most um, uh, the the game I'm looking forward to, like we already said, the game of the kind of tournament is the Barca Bayern one. I think this that's just gonna have the what that's just gonna have what it takes, you know. Yeah. And, uh, I'm gonna have a, a little bit of a surprise here. If there's a surprise that needs to that will come up, I think it'll be um, uh, Shakhtar beating Inter. So you're saying so severe beating United is not a surprise for you, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, for me, I think uh, the game to look forward to is United Sevilla. That's purely unbiased, and uh, I think the play, uh, the upset is Dion, man. <laughs> man, festive pie, ex United player. <laughs> That's actually a very, very close second. Uh, if that upset does happen, yeah. I just don't see it happen at all. I just. <laughs> I know. It's a long shot, but I'm going for it. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think uh, that sums it up pretty much. Uh, uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Looking forward to these games and I'll catch you on the other side. Always, brother. Take, Take care, care, man. Have a good night.